alive now. Um. All right, let's fucking get it. We're here with our boy. Um, I, can you say it for me? It's just so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> Yo, what's up? My name's Dylan Parton from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm 19. I make music. How's everybody doing? Hey, it's good to see you, broski. We're here to see this album interview. Yes, sir. I've been so excited to do this. I, like, found your channel, like, years ago. I think I was probably a sophomore, junior in high school. Now I'm a sophomore in college. So, like, it's super cool to see, if, like, going from a viewer to, like, actually partaking, like, in, like, something with your channel. It's really dope for me. So I'm, I'm really thankful that you have me here, that we're doing this. Yeah, dude, I'm always... That's awesome, dude. Damn, you've been watching for a minute. I think so. I think my time on that is somewhat right. All right. Heck yeah. Nah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, well, uh, let's talk about the album. Why are you here? Yo, one of one. Or EP, one of one. Uh, what 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 became what became of this? Like, why'd you uh make this? Well, honestly, I like had been writing some of these songs for like years, and I'll explain like each one once we go into it. But um, I never thought that I was gonna put out a full length project. But I met a really dope person last year, and he became my manager. Shout out Avery, and he was like, "We need to like push out an EP." And, um, like, two of these songs I had written new just for this project, but a lot of the, um, stuff on the project talks about, like, a toxic relationship and mm. dealing with that because I was stuck in one for, like, a year, and I just, like, it, it did a lot on my mental health, and, um, once I finally got out of it, I felt, like, so free, and I speak about some of that on the EP. Awesome. Well, awesome. Yeah, no, I'm sure people can relate, especially to, especially to that for real. So let's uh get into the very first uh song intro. Uh, let's get it. Taking some time off to get a little space Have a minute to remember my face Take a second to reclaim my space Cause I lost myself And I'm back now Everything on track now I can't lack now Got dependence on my back right now They don't wanna see me collapse fall down Some space was all I needed The days were all repeated I just had to get away Get away Get away, had to take a couple breaths to take the next steps to get to what's next. And this is it, spent hours on this song to try and get it right. I just want everyone oh, to understand my fight. My therapist is high, I know I hey. should, but my shoe my shy. <laughs> Or maybe not Some space was all I needed The days were all repeated I just had to get away Get away, get away Had to take a couple breaths To take the next steps To get to what's next And this is it Had to dig inside my pockets To find hidden profits just to put this out, put this out, put this out. So here's a piece of me. I hope you all wanna see. I hope I can finally feel free. Some space was all I needed. The days were all repeated. I just had to get away, get away, get away. Have to take a couple breaths to take the next steps. To get to what's next And this is it That's a good single 
right there. Damn, I'm surprised that's the intro. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, um, that was one of the ones that, like, I had written, like, solely for the project. And, like, once, like, the instrumental was getting put together, I'm like, this, sound, this just sounds like an intro track, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, basically what I'm talking about is just, like, it was my coming back song, pretty much. And, like, because I think it had been a year since I had dropped something. And, like, it just kind of goes over, the, like, the stresses and pressure that, like, I have to always, like, I got to drop something, people are going to forget about me. I have to drop something, people are going to forget about me. And so it just goes over, like, that's that's the topic for me of the song. Um Damn, I maybe. like that a lot, cause I can relate that to that a lot. Like always staying consistent, cause then if you don't stay consistent, people will forget. Exactly, and just like overall, like the pressure in life has just like been crazy, and just like I wanted to touch on my anxiety, cause it's been at an all time high as mm. since the year, year between that, and it's just a really special song to me. Uh, if it wasn't for this song, like, you think this song, like, definitely released some pressure from you to, like, just let it out? Yeah. Once I heard the finished project, or the finished, uh, project of the song, like, the, f what finished product, my bad, I, like, I definitely felt a lot of weight off my shoulders, because, like, surprisingly enough, I have a really hard time, like, just, like, talking about my feelings and, like, what I'm going through. And mm. so, like, to be able to put it in this song the way that I did, I was really happy with it. And I, like, finally felt like I was telling somebody, like, what I was going through. Hey, that's good. No, I like that a lot. Hey, I like that. All right. Well, let's keep on head. It That was very well produced and mixed. So let's keep on moving to the next song. Uh, Bittersweet. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Take a flight 
thinking the both times is in the bit of sweet. Now that was serious. Oh my god, that was serious. Jeez. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um yo, have I heard that before? Yeah, All we right, actually cool. um we actually used a video of you reacting it for promo. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Hey, yeah. that's clean. Yo, dude, um, that yo, the girl singing, who is that again? That's uh, Rosie Jones. She's a local artist from the same city that I'm in, Knoxville, Tennessee. Shout out. Hey. Um, me and her, I met her because she's in like a girl band. And I met them at one of their shows. And I was like, dude, fuck. I was like, I have to get a record with her. And so like within the next week, we had this shit finished. That was some shit and a half. Good God. Dang, that's like some. I'm surprised. Yeah, that needs some. That needs that play. So what's the what's the backstory behind this one? Um, that's basically just like that was me like after the toxic breakup. That was just me like kind of fooling myself like, oh, we like I miss her, I love her, blah blah blah. Mm. But then I'm like, no, nah, I'm just tricking myself. It's, it was bittersweet, you know, like, yeah, I might miss her, but fuck, the times were terrible. And my mm. mind was, like, playing tricks on me to th only remember the good times, which I think a lot of people can relate to because that happens a lot with breakups. Um, but it was just reminiscing on the good times instead of the bad times and just it being bittersweet. Damn. I have a great... Wait, are you, like, saying, like... Like, when you, like, you kind of miss her because you only think of the good times and you don't recognize the bad times. Yeah. Damn, I literally just went through that. Now, Loki, if if this girl watches this, yo, you know what it is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, I was, like, I was legit just recently wa looking at uh her, like, stuff, and I was, like, ah, oh. I just, like, Cause I was missing her actually like a lot, and I was like looking at his stuff, and I was like, "Damn, that's why we." I was like, "Thank God I like saw that." Like, have you ever like went back and watched a movie that like you really liked as like a kid, and then you realize that like it's a really shitty movie? Yeah, actually, it, it's like the same thing. Nostalgia can lie to you very easily. <sighs> yes, it can. That's that's. Ah, all right, let's keep it moving with the next track. We got uh one of one as the uh, album or EP is. So let's check this out. Oh wait, are you making any music videos to these? Yeah, um, bittersweet. We have that music video recorded, and then we're uh we actually shot the one of one video. And then the guy that was doing it for us, he accidentally formatted all the footage on set. Uh, damn. and we had like What's we had like mean? got off. <laughs> it means like, he he deleted all of it. Fuck. We had filmed the whole day, and then we went to the coffee shop to film because we got a coffee shop to ourselves for the video. Damn. And in the middle of shooting it, he's like, "Guys, I just fucked up bad," and then he deleted all of it. Uh, that would. I I don't know how I would feel. Damn. It, it it was an accident. He's really good at what he does. So like we didn't take it. We we weren't mad or anything. He we're reshooting it soon. So it, uh, it'll all work out in the end. Hey, and you say you got a team behind you. That's that's serious. Not a lot of people have that. Yeah, I'm very blessed to be where I am. Hey. All right. Let's check out the next song. One of one. Let's get it. Go. But 
you kinda like my smile Sort of like my style Let's do this thing with no strings attached I don't like to be under contract So let me detach You got the secret thought in your head So your producer is a a Discord friend? Yeah, like most of the producers that I worked with on this project was uh Discord homies. Damn. That I met, like the Kenny Beats Discord or like s- stuff like that. Um cuz I don't know how to work like software. I'm like really bad with like structuring like on the computer. Mm-hmm. But like I can like play like everything I write and like I know, like, what to play, how to play it. I just don't know how to structure it on the DAW. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely, some people, you know, it is what it is. Um, But, damn, I fucking love that. All instrumentals so far have been spot on. And it seems like you got that, like, like your thing down. Like, you know, like, where you want to be, especially with this EP. Like, yeah, it has a theme. I, I, like, used to make, like, completely different shit. And then, like, over, like, the past, like, two, three years, I've really been, like, finding my sound. And I know it'll probably change again in the future. But, like, for right now, I think that, like, I'm sonically where I should be. Damn. Yeah, no, you sound fucking amazing. Like, radio on shit, like. That hey, I actually really can't wait for this EP to. Is this gonna be on YouTube? It'll be every all platforms. All right, cause if it's on that YouTube, yo, I'm all right. It's on my <laughs> playlist off the rip because that's how I listen to my music. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh yeah, this is a clean ass album, no? or EP, not for real. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, let's uh, we got two more tracks. Let's check this out.
uh, hold up. We kind of got to, um, do I got to refresh it? Okay, yeah. All right, uh, Scared to Fail. Oh, damn. That's a title. That's like a good title. All right, let's check this out. Sleep and I hate the day You don't like when the sun comes up Cause it reminds you that you're stuck In the same rotation You pray for a vacation But you can't seem to get away Months or months keep passing by You're still stuck in the same old life You wanna get out but you barely try Shit and it's all your fault Put the blame on everyone else But everyone else tried to help Never stand up for yourself Keep all your books hidden on the shelf The truth is you're just scared to fail Damn. Don't complain when you're gone You haven't done shit and it's all your fault Put the blame on everyone else but everyone else tried to help Never stand up for yourself Keep all your books hidden on the shelf The truth is, you're just scared to fail You start here in the gym trying to make some change But everything about you stayed the same You miss all the shots that you don't take But do you even try to aim? Hate the picture because you're in the frame you hate the player and you hate the game Man, what a motherfucking shame That you let your life go to waste Months or months keep passing by You're still stuck in the same old life You wanna get out but you barely try You barely try Don't complain when you're gone You haven't done shit and it's all your fault Put the blame on everyone else But everyone else tries Never stand up for yourself. Keep all your books hidden on the shelf. The truth is, you're just scared to fail. Don't complain when you're gone. You haven't done shit and it's all your fault. Put the blame on everyone else. But everyone else tried to help. Never stand up for yourself. Keep all your books hidden on the shelf. You're just scared to fail True, oh my god Track after track is And I like how different that was Hey, that was on point Lyrically on That was, I don't know if people can Handle that Thank you. That's that's easily like probably my best song that I've ever written. Holy fuck, dude! Like low key people do not want like they cannot handle that. That's the <laughs> f that's the facts. Those holy crap. Thank you. I I wrote that song. Uh, senior, or I wrote I wrote the first verse senior year. On I was working at Burger King. Damn. I, I wrote it and I've had like two or three fast food jobs previously and like depression was just like at an all time high. I hated the repetitiveness of it. I hated going from school straight there and then like not having any free time. So I wrote that on my 30 minute break, the first verse, and I didn't touch it until last year. And then I was at my manager's house and we were all, we all had drank sake. If you mm. know, uh, oh, that's the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had drank that, and I was just on his couch, and I, like I was going through old notes because like I write a lot of like just like one liners that I think could be like cool ideas for like verses, mm -hmm. and I I found that one. And I was like, holy shit! And so I I popped off the chorus real quick, and then the next day I recorded the whole thing, 
and finished it and wrote the second verse and it was done and i was like i this has to go on the ep it's my favorite song ever was that uh about somebody or about yourself like um so a lot of the times like in my writing like i'll point the blame or something at somebody else so because i don't want to sound like i beat myself up too often but mm-hmm. that was like 100 percent about me damn Dude, that's some self-awareness like I ain't never seen. What the fuck? Good shit. Thank you, thank you. Damn. Hey, man, I respect the fuck out of that. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, yeah, you're clean. You don't work any fast... Do you work fat or shitty job right now? I don't. I do solely music now. Hey, that's what it's all... All right, clean shit, man. That's what we like to hear. Hey, I... Uh, any other thing we you want to say before we get to this last track? Um, no. <laughs> we'll let this track play. It's another kind of downer. Okay. So we'll let it play and then we'll play. All right, let's get it. Uh, last track. I didn't mean to play it. Uh, if you heard that, by the way. Uh, last track outro. Uh, let's get it. I'll oh, poop. Okay, there we go. These girls say I'm an asshole. My parents complain when I don't call home. Some days I just can't handle my phone. They understand that shit I fucked it up so many times And had no clue what I did And now I'm trying to find a fix But some days it just doesn't come that quick I know I'm not the perfect person But I am slowly working Just give me time And I'll make it right just give me time, I'll make it right And I don't know if I'm on the right path I need to take a step back To find myself to go get help And honestly, I struggle with inner peace Some days I just can't fucking stand me and I'm trying to solve it, it's a work in progress But I made a promise, so I gotta follow it I know I'm not the perfect person But I am slowly working Just give me time and I'll make it right Just give me time, I'll make it What you uh, gotta say about this outro track, yo? This one, like, I had. This is another one of the songs that I had written in high school, and it had a completely different first verse. The first verse was more of like how, like, I'm not that good of a son, mm. and like how how I would like want to be better on that. But I sent it. I sent the demo because I finally laid it down because I'd written everything else. I sent the demo demo to my manager, and he was like, "Nah, this this isn't this isn't it." And I was like, "Shit, I really liked it." And so, um, and it was like it was like jumbled up. I tried to fit a lot into like whatever. So I was like, "I'll just I don't know," but a lot of it's just like being self aware that like 
I'm not perfect. And even though I'm in, like, I may be in a better mindset, I still have, like, work to do. Yeah. And um, this is kind of just, like, a an ode to everyone that, like, I'm trying to do better. And even mm-hmm. though I might not be my best at sometimes, like, hopefully this can give you some perspective of, like, what I'm going through so you understand why sometimes I might not be the best, like, person, you know? I fucking feel, yeah. Damn, bro. Like, you you, you really are very uh, smart for... You said you were 19. Yeah. You are very smart, like, for Thank real. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, yeah, man, obviously this album was... A uh, fucking amazing EP. I don't know why I keep saying album. Uh, this EP is phenomenal. I really think that you can do a lot of views and a lot of uh, listens uh, through this EP if you guys really do market it on point because the music is seriously on point. Like, I swear, that is the most on point. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I was like... First, first, I was thinking, like, it kind of reminds me of OK Go, the way you were singing. But then, like, Green Day and then, like, also some other bands. It just was, like, a whole... And then I was just, like, realizing it's just you. Like, you kind of made your own thing. So I was, like, I really respected it all by the end. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Yeah. yeah it's I put I put um a lot into this. I've been working on this for, like, I'd say, like, the last, like, eight months i really like clocked in and like really pushed at it but of course like i said the writing goes back two years but i've uh worked a lot on this ep and it means a lot to me and i hope people enjoy it um yeah if you had to rate this song or album zero of a hundred what would you say damn this (laughs) um i'd say like right now where i'm at like myself i would give it like a 70 Mm, okay Um, and because like i think that like i think that i'm destined to do better but i'm also really happy with it um so it's passing i i mean i I don't know i'm not i'm trying to be uh trying to be modest here yeah i understand no that was clean no I like that. That was a good ass question too. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that is all for today. Let me think of any other questions that I could think of. Um. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, that comes off the top of my head. Uh, unless, yeah, nothing crazy. Maybe we'll have you. Like, would you ever want to do like a podcast or anything? to get like yeah. more in depth on just like you i would love to yeah all right well let us know in the likes and ch- comments below and uh yeah and if you like this interview please leave a like subscribe and check out uh yo please uh leave anything you want to shout out um instagram at it's still important um mm-hmm. i don't have twitter anymore delete it it's too toxic for me <laughs> yeah. and my mental um bittersweet off the second track off this ep is out on all platforms so you can go listen to that now dylanparton.com for merch that should be dropping soon and if any of you live in the, the near the knoxville area we're doing a drop party for when this comes out spring 2022 awesome awesome yo i live in north carolina yo oh shit uh pull up. yo yeah i actually you know where Asheville is yeah I, there that's my city so like three hours away probably i know it's close as close as fuck <laughs> all right well it was all right i think that's it and uh we'll see y'all in the next album interview or whatever thing that you watch next see you next <laughs>